What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the mage hero, Cyclops. Cyclops has a good set of burst, area of effect, and crowd control skills. Our star soul magician, Cyclops, is a mage hero. I consider Cyclops as a burst mage since all his skills deal area of effect damage. Not only that, his ultimate skill immobilizes a single target while dealing burst damage. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Cyclops based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Cyclops is passive. Starlit Hourglass lets his skills cooldown reduced. Every time his skills hit an enemy, all the cooldown of his skills are decreased. With the multiple burst damage dealt by your first and second skill, you can abuse your passive to help you reduce lots of cooldown from your skills. Just take note that even if your area of effect skills can hit multiple enemies, it will just be counted as one instance. Cyclops' first skill, Stardust the Shock, lets him cast his shock waves forward. He shoots two shock waves to the specified direction and deals magic damage to enemies hit. The range of this skill is really long which can let you poke and kill enemies from afar. Cyclops' second skill, Planet's Attack, lets him generate spheres to revolve around him. Five Starlet Spheres are generated and will revolve around him. The spheres will shoot towards the nearby target and will deal burst magic damage. The spheres prioritize as enemy heroes, so it's best to go a little nearby your desired target. Even if you use hero lock mode, his balls are really stubborn and will still hit the nearest target. Using this skill also increases his movement speed for a short period. This can help you chase enemies and escape quickly after. The good thing about this skill is your movement doesn't stop or pause when buffing yourself with revolving balls. This is best especially when the enemies are chasing you. They will just feel the wrath of your balls while you just bounce around dodging enemy projectiles. Lastly, his balls will not attack sleeping jungle monsters unless you attack them. His balls really respect creatures resting. With your first and second skill, you can burst and melt down the health of enemies easy peasy lemon squeezy. Cyclops' ultimate skill, Star Power Lockdown, lets him shoot a target with a gigantic magic sphere. He shoots a gigantic magic sphere to chase a target and deal magic damage. The target will be immobilized for a duration that will depend on the distance traveled by the sphere. Just be aware that the magic sphere can be used against jungle monsters. So if you are having team fights in the jungle, you might accidentally shoot it to a jungle monster. So, just pray that no one did not see your mistake and move forward with your life. The movement speed of the orb is really slow that you can even attack other targets while it is traveling. Or maybe make coffee while it travels. The immobilization will not let enemy heroes blink or run away. We will show you some of our experiments about immobilization on our other experiment video with Cyclops. There are so many items that you can buy for Cyclops. You can focus on items that grants magic power, magic lifesteal, and items that give you cooldown reduction. You can use the Kurumi Way build if you want to deal burst damage while sustaining your survival. We chose the following items to bring out Cyclops' burst potential while being sustainable. Magic Shoes will grant additional cooldown reduction so we can use our skills again as soon as possible. Enchanted Talisman will give you massive mana regeneration which is perfect for skill spamming. Concentrated Energy will grant you massive magic lifesteal which regenerates health every time your skill deals damage. It will also regenerate your health every time you kill an enemy. Blood Wings will grant you lots of magic power and lots of health points depending on your magic power. Ice Queen Wand will let you slow down enemies every time they are hit with your skill. It also grants you additional magic lifesteal and additional movement speed so you can travel faster. Lastly, Holy Crystal will grant you a large amount of magic power which will improve your skill damage. This build will bring out the best of Cyclops' damage, while being sustainable with your magic lifesteal inside team fights. You can use the Bursty build if the enemy's lineup has lots of squishy heroes like marksmen and mages. This build focuses on your extreme burst capability. 
We have demon shoes as boots so it will regenerate a decent amount of mana for us. You also regenerate mana every time you kill a minion or engage in enemy hero killings. Fleeting time will reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill for every enemy hero elimination or assist. Divine Glaive will grant you magic penetration which will penetrate through the enemy's magic defense. More magic penetration means more magic damage to be dealt to the target. Lastly, you can use the jungle single build if you prefer to be in the jungle alone, single forever. We included Star Shard as for his jungling item. This item lets you deal more damage to jungle monsters and gain more experience from them. You also gain health and mana every time you eliminate jungle monsters. You also regenerate health every time you kill an enemy hero. Killing jungle monsters will add stacks of gorge which increases your damage by a percentage. Lastly, you can now use the retribution spell to enemy heroes to slow them down and to reduce their magic defense. Just make sure you have retribution as your spell when going for this build. The item build for Cyclops really depends on the enemy's lineup, so make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Cyclops is Flameshot. Using this spell will knock back enemies hit near you, reduce their movement speed, and will deal certain amount of magic damage. This will be helpful especially when enemies try approaching you, or kill enemies escaping death. You can also consider Retribution. This will deal true damage to the target minion or jungle monster. When you have a jungling item, this spell will decrease the damage taken from jungle monsters permanently. This spell will help you kill monsters and farm faster. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Mage Emblem set. Custom Mage Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Burst Mage. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting observation to max level will provide additional magic penetration on your skills. Higher magic penetration will let you deal more magic damage with your skills. Get impure rage to deal extra damage depending on the enemy's current HP. Impure rage also restores your mana. For me, it's the best thing to get since impure rage has a short cooldown which can help you poke enemies. Set second skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage output higher and the cooldown lower. Prioritize first skill less since your second skill is what you need for better damage dealing. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of his combo, we usually use a really straightforward combo for Cyclops depending on the situation. For situations like you just want to shock the enemies and shout, surprise, mother father, then this combo is for you. First, we use his second skill to boost his movement speed. This will also let you shoot sanitary balls, I mean planetary balls to hurt the target. Then, we use his ultimate skill so it can start its travel because it really travels very very slow. You can even take your dinner first before it hits the target. Then, we use his first skill to deal further burst damage. When your balls and your first skill hit the target, the cooldown of your skills will be reduced massively. So it's best to have your ultimate skill released as well so that it will receive cooldown reduction from your passive when hitting enemies. Use your spells anywhere in between the combo and use basic attacks if your skills are on cooldown. Additional tip Magic Lifesteal can really save you from dying. With his burst damaging capability, he can regenerate health from his skills during team fights. So never underestimate Cyclops especially when he already has Magic Lifesteal items. He can make you cry to your mom because you were too greedy. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Cyclops. This video just guides you on how to use Cyclops the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Cyclops. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.